Hello, little bee. Get away from the window there. Hi, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Hi, bees. Um, the reason I'm concerned about the little bee there up in the window is they have this weird tendency to want to do that. And when they're small, and then when they grow up, they they get bigger, they intersect with the blocks around them, they get hurt. And I've even seen them glitch out outside because it's just a little corner here. So, uh, so I've been trying to lure them away from that. I've got a lot of bees here. Hi guys. Um, <clears throat> and they're all doing their thing, and that's great. And uh, sun's starting to go down. This is good. So what I've been doing is breeding them up until there's too many to fit in all the hives. Uh, and that tells me that all the hives at nighttime, they of course they go back into their hives. And I've got a bunch of hives here. Um, but at nighttime they go back into their hives. But if they're if they don't if there's not enough space for them, if they don't fit. Like this guy oh, he fit. Okay. So but I have in here a beehive that has three bees in it. Uh, and I know it has three bees in it. So let's do something interesting with that. And we have other things to talk about. It looks like they fixed the uh, the issue where the banners don't uh, don't sway on multiplayer servers. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've never seen that happen before. Heading out to the witch farm. Um, I've got three things to talk about today, and it's actually a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm going to touch on the big stuff first, um, and that is uh, three. Well, Oh, lava. Uh, there are th the three things. One it involves uh, what I want to do with the bee stuff. Um, that's kind of secondary. The two others are um, the RPM challenge. My RPM challenge record for 2020. It is now March. Right now it is March, th March 3rd. Yeah, I think it's March 3rd. Um, March 4th. Sorry, it's March 4th. 2020 and uh, February just ended and February as you know if you've been watching this channel much uh, February there's a RPM challenge which is a challenge to musicians to make an album in the month of February which sounds crazy but it's really quite doable uh, and I've been doing it for quite some time and I have a new album uh, for 2020 that I did uh, this year I did not use Minecraft to make the uh, the album uh, as I have to some degree the last two or three albums I think uh, this one is uh, this one is different um, and it is ooh. hang on a second where should I build this? I don't need to build another platform, do I? You know, let's build it over here. This is supposed to be something else, but there's room here, so let's go ahead and build it here. Yeah, we'll move it later, I think. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, RPM challenge this year my RPM challenge was uh, put this in here. Uh, this year, the RPM challenge was uh, it's about 45 minutes long, something like that. 44, 45 minutes long, and it is all made out of one sound, and that one sound is a deck of cards being shuffled, which is. Uh, 
yeah, seems kind of crazy, uh, but it is actually not. Um, and I did some really interesting things with it. I, I took the sound of me shuffling the cards, and then I uh, recorded that um, with a little digital recorder, and then I played it out of the computer, played it out, back out of the computer onto a cassette tape recorder. And then I have this little uh, device, which is effectively a manual cassette tape player. Meaning manually, meaning it uh, it has a hand crank or two hand cranks. One goes forward and one goes backwards. And in that hand crank cassette tape, I basically uh, I played back the sound of the recording, the cassette tape recording of the uh, of the the playing cards being shuffled. I think that's right. Um, <clears throat> and played it back kind of as slowly and evenly as I could, but being as completely manually handled. Uh, evenly was basically not very at all. Uh, so it plays back slow and wonky and kind of weird pitch. And so I, uh, and then I took that, ran it into a little battery powered amplifier that I have, and then recorded the output of that on, um, onto uh, the uh, into the digital recorder <clears throat> and the result of all that was that I got this sort of wacky playback um, yeah I got this sort of wacky playback which I then took and recorded uh, even took that recording and and brought it in to the computer and uh, and mucked around with it, made it play back even slower which is uh, kind of interesting and uh, so I got I got that and then I took the 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 regular sound of the the shuffling uh, played back. Uh, I, I took that and, and sort of played that back slowly and that's right yes this is right um, let's put this up here sorry I'm trying to talk and build at the same time it's probably a bad idea uh, and then blah 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 there we go <clears throat> Uh, and then just took that into Logic, which is the audio uh, workstation program that I that I use, and I took that in and played around with just played around with filters and sort of setting different sounds and and whatnot, and put together something that I think is really I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's it's very ambient. It's very uh, I think a little not a whole lot of rhythm unlike the last RPM challenge album which I distinctively tried to do a lot of rhythms with um, and uh, So it's sort of more typical Banks Platt music uh, it is up on my Bandcamp now, and if you wanted to go listen to it, you can do that. Uh, if you want to buy it, you can do that too. Uh, I'll put the link on in the sh in the uh, the video notes, and it is uh, it's a I have it set as a pay what you want, so which can include uh, zero. Uh, so you can choose to download it for free if you want. Um, and I have a couple sales already, which is nice. But it's not, uh, 
Not everyone, not everyone's cup of tea. I recognize that. So, uh, said I'll put the the link to that in the in the video description. And let's see, how do I want to do this? Beehive. Really, I want to do this at night. Hmm. And what time is it? It's the middle of the day. Okay, so if I go and... Let's see here. Can I hit that from there? Yes. Okay, ready? Beehive and then glass. Whoa! Okay, I have a bee farm. It's a honey farm. Now, what do I need? I need glass bottles. I should have a ton of glass bottles here. That's why I came out here. I should have more glass bottles than you could imagine having any need for. And they're in this box right here. So I'm gonna load up glass bottles. And then, oh, see, ah. They're already pollinated. Um, okay. So what I need to do is I need to put glass bottles into that dispenser and put up and then I need to trigger that. Okay. Hang on a second. Uh, and then I need to fill up this guy with a bunch of glass bottles. And then I can come here, take my... Ah, look at that. Okay. So I'm loading up this dispenser with glass bottles. And a dispenser with glass bottles pointed at a beehive. When the beehive level is at at five, honey level five, it will fill up one of the bottles with with honey. Uh, and <laughs> so we can kind of automate the collection of honey. And uh, I can do I can do if you put a um, a shear or shears into into the dispenser, then it will collect honeycomb which of course collects a lot quicker than honey because every time you shear a, a beehive or a bee's nest with uh, sugar cane, with, uh, sorry, with the, the shears, it collects three honeycomb. Uh, so this to me seemed prime, prime for uh, automation. So the bees are in there, they can leave the, the, the hot beehive they can go find the flower and turn around and go back. You can make this one block tall for them. It will work, but they kind of get stuck on each other and it would work better if you only had one bee in there. But I've got three. I want to give them some room to fly around each other. Uh, this keeps the dispenser and this hopper filled up with bottles. And then this comparator reads the honey level of this beehive so when it's when this gets to level five this comparator outputs a level five that's one two three four five triggers this dispenser which collects the the honey uh, fills up a honey bottle and when i get four of these then i can go and craft them into a honey block it's starting to get dark buzz buzz uh i should be safe from phantoms i slept short while ago so i don't have to worry about that but the uh, the bees won't come out of course so this is like uh saw this on doc m 77's channel this arrangement more or less he had a couple extra blocks on here that aren't necessary but uh so this is this is a honey farm and it's tileable so i can actually extend it out um yeah so that's that's good uh, so I just need to keep this filled up with bottles and I get bottles out of the witch farm or at least used to um, 
I don't know if I don't know how much the the witch farm works properly anymore. But whoops, not not that wrong thing. Okay, cool. And I'm using this smooth stone, which is the smelted uh, stone, um, which we used to call smooth stone, but is now just stone. Okay. Uh, and so I'm using that for redstone blocks. I think it works reasonably well. Let me go in here and I have an empty shulker box now. Let's go drop it back into my supply here. Plop. And there we go. Cool. So I have a honey farm. I want to be able to make honey blocks a little bit more easily. And once I get more bees bred up, I can, I can expand this. I can just build more of these. Uh, and this isn't necessarily where it needs to go, but this, um, you know what? That was dumb. While I was over there, I should have slept. So this isn't where this needs to go, but it needs to be nearby. And this is a place where I would be AFK and at the witch farm. So this should work reasonably well. So there we go. Uh, so that's that RPM challenge. And then of course, um, it's coming up the ms walk or walk ms is what they call it uh, that is coming up the annual fundraiser for the national ms society i will be walking in that again and raising money for the national ms society uh, i have a fundraiser page set up i haven't announced it too much yet but i will put the link to that in my description and uh, just the same way I did last year, any sales of the RPM challenge record, uh, the, the proceeds for any sales, I will donate to the National MS Society. So um, if you want to donate money and, and uh, but want to get some music out of it, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, keep in mind that I do pay fees on I pay fees to both Bandcamp and PayPal on those payments. So I don't, if you go and say, oh, here's five bucks, I don't get all five of it, but uh, so the, the donation will be less. Uh, but if you don't want, if you want the, the music and you want to make a donation, you can go donate on the donation page and donate directly to the National MS Society and, uh, and then go download the album for free. Um, you can go and it's got a name your price thing and you can set it to zero and that is perfectly fine. So, so there's that, uh, the title of the album is amazing Larry and his levitating toupee. <laughs> and I, that was a last minute name. Uh, I went to go see Paul Rubens talk after the 35th anniversary screening of Pee Wee's big adventure. And there's a character in the movie called Amazing Larry, and he's this older guy. He's got bald, and he's got this this mohawk. He's bald except for this multicolored mohawk, which is bundled up into little into little like ponytail type things. And in in the scene where Pee Wee is laying out his uh, his conspiracy theory about who stole his bike, and um, everyone's and he's kind of got every all the bike people in the neighborhood are in his garage and they're going over all the evidence that he has as to what happened to his bike um amazing larry is is chatting he's whispering with somebody sitting next to him and and peewee snaps at him and says, is this something you can share with everyone amazing larry and <laughs> um which is one of the funniest lines in the film in my opinion and apparently, uh, Amazing Larry had a scene earlier in the film that was cut when, at the beginning of the movie, when Pee Wee goes into Mario's magic shop and buys his, you know, stocks up on his supplies. Uh, Amazing Larry is in the shop. He's a magician. And he's doing a magic trick. And his magic trick is a levitating toupee, which is really funny. And so uh, I thought that that was a great. Uh, that would be that would make a good title especially since the the sort of the source material for the the whole composition is playing cards being shuffled sort of magic related so i i thought it was all kind of neat and appropriate so 
that's uh, that's that's what the title is, and uh, that's that's why the title is. I think it's funny. Um, I was going to name it Anonymous Knights, the K N I G H T S, um, and um, I just recently at the Magic Castle became a Castle Knight, which is kind of a tour guide or hospitality um, docent volunteer type, and. Um, <clears throat> and I, I did, I finally got my name tag that says, has my name. It says Theron Castle Knights on it. Uh, but the first time I was there performing my duties as a Castle Knight, they didn't have my name tag yet. So I had one that was blank. So it was kind of, I was kind of an anonymous knight and I thought that was kind of a neat title, which I may use for something in the future. Uh, but right now. Um, and that was also magic related, obviously. So, uh, that was kind of the theme there, even though it wasn't obvious what it is. Not that Amazing Larry and his, uh, and his floating toupee, his levitating toupee is particularly, um, obvious either. But, uh, that is, that is the source of the title. So, those are the main things. I will have links to the the Bandcamp page where you can buy it. I was waiting to announce because I wanted to wait until I submitted it to uh, a, a distributor. Uh, so it should actually be getting getting posted to Spotify and App iTunes iTunes and Google Play and Amazon Music and all the different services and YouTube. It has not happened yet. Okay. So the the honey level in the beehive increases, increments when bees come out of it. So this was at zero, now it's at two. Um, and when the next bee comes out, it'll go up to three. So with three bees in there, it doesn't take long. There's he just came out. So now this one is is powered. You can kind of see, kind of see that. So anyway, that's that's the way the bee things work. So it it doesn't take very long for this to get up to level five, and right now it is at level three. Um, and then it'll oh see I got another honey bottle at some point. Okay. Very good. So over time, this will just rack up honey bottles and then I can recycle the bottles, turn them into honey blocks and just put the bottles back up in here. So we should be, we should be good for a little while. So there we go. All right. Um, I think that's it for now. This is kind of what I've been working on. I need to keep breeding the bees. I've been slowly enchanting up my gear, my replacement gear. Um, and so I need to continue doing that and then breed up more bees so I can get more beehives and build up more of these so that I can get the honeycomb and honey blocks and honey bottles. Um, you know, whoa, what was that? Uh, get them... Uh, get them sort of in a more automated fashion and this seemed somewhat appropriate over here because in my mind the honey bottle should be there should be a brew you know like a potion brewing po recipe that uses them i don't know what it would be um, right now you use it to get rid of poison um, which is cool you can also turn them into uh honey uh into sugar Right, so if I put this up here, I get sugar out of it, which yeah, sure, I guess. Um, okay, so this is probably not, oh, that just got another one. Okay, so this won't take too long to build up a stockpile, and this is the sort of thing that I could build in my uh, in my testing world. I built up a bunch of these in a as another kind of single chunk 
uh, farm, but it's going to take a lot of bees. I have to breed up, I have to fill up a lot of beehives to do that. So I might work on something a little bit, uh, automate the process of breeding the bees a little bit. Cause I would like to open up a, you know, a beehive shop. Um, and in the, in the community area, uh, not that anybody necessarily needs to buy bees because uh, as somebody pointed out in the comments of not the last video but the video before um, they added so the bees nests are renewable so you can if you silk touch like a birch sapling that's within a couple blocks of a, of a flower when the birch tree grows it will have a chance of spawning a bees nest in it so bees nests are renewable and they're relatively easy to get. They just take a lot of uh, a time. So, so that is uh, the you know that is something people can do. They don't have to. Uh, they don't have to go out adventuring to get the bees the way I did, um, but but I did. So there we go. Okay, uh, I think that's it for here. Uh, how long have we been going? Been going for a long time. All right. Um, I will do another video where I walk through the uh, the the RPM challenge album and also show the uh, National MS Society um, fundraising page. Um, I may. Uh, put screenshots of those, uh, at least the the uh, the uh, Bandcamp page, and the National MS Society page. I may put those at the end of the video here, but um, I, I I'll do a little video where I talk about the composition of the record itself because I think it's neat and it's uh, it's all really made up out of one sound, which is a little bit which is a bit wild in my opinion. Uh, how much variety I'm able to get out of just one recording. So there you go. Um, all right. I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been uh, Minecraft Land Party. And uh, you can, if you want, you can go donate to the National MS Society fundraiser that I'm doing. Or, and or purchase my RPM Challenge record or listen to it. Uh, links will be down in the video description, and uh, please uh, consider checking them out. Thank you very much, and have a nice day, and I will see you next time. All right? Bye.